Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I am out camping and I have a dirty cooking pot. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to not only sterilize, but wash your titanium cookware that is caked on with nasty food with zero soap and zero effort. Stick around and I'm gonna show you how. guys so let's have a look at the titanium pot in question for today now clearly there is some caked on pasta it is even burned into the bottom there are still noodles in the bottom and it needs to be clean so how are we going to get that out without scrubbing it with soap so the way I've been cleaning my titanium for years has been simply by throwing the entire pot directly into the campfire now I know a lot of people are gonna say whoa 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 don't do that you're gonna melt it, it's gonna warp, it's not gonna be any good anymore. You're totally wrong. I've been doing this for many years with kettles, cups, plates, spoons, forks, pots, and lids, and it works absolutely, totally fine. Now, what it does is it sterilizes, it burns off any food particles and scent, which is really important out in the wild, and it washes it totally clean. All you gotta do is throw it into the campfire. So let's talk about titanium for a second before we do throw it into the campfire. So titanium is very lightweight, it is strong. It's also non-corrosive, so it's not going to rust and it's not going to corrode, which is a huge plus because you could take it out, leave it outside in the middle of the winter, you could take it down by the sea, you could take it in rain and just, it's not gonna rust, it's not gonna corrode. It's also antimicrobial and it has a property of not passing food taste. So if I do cook shrimp and lobster in this, wash it out and then make coffee or tea, it is going to taste like coffee and tea, which is a huge plus. Now it also deals with very high temperatures and it also cools down a lot quicker than other metals. So that's the reason why they make titanium wood stoves, titanium pots, and it's just, it's an all around good material for hiking, but it is a little expensive. So nowadays it is 2021 right now and titanium is kind of a buzzword. Everybody gets it because it's the cool thing to get and they don't really understand why it's the cool thing to get. They don't understand why it's titanium over all other kind of materials for pots and whatnot. So hopefully that helps you guys out in understanding why titanium is such a popular material in the camping world. And I, I just, we gotta get this pot clean. So I just wanna share a little bit of information with you guys. So let's get this bad boy into the fire and get it cleaned. All right, so here we've got the campfire burning very, very hot. I've got the dirty pot. This is a 750 mil titanium pot. You guys can see the burnt pasta and just nastiness down in there. Now I could scrape that out. I'm just gonna leave it in there for video purposes to show you how well this works. I'm simply going to toss it into the fire. So I'm gonna try and stand it up upwards like this. You can hang it from a bale or you can support it. What I recommend doing is supporting it kind of on a pedestal. So if you can get it on three pieces of wood like that, rather than smothering the coals underneath of it because if you smother the coals underneath of it this won't work as well it'll blacken the coals and it'll cool the temperature of the bottom of the pot we want it really hot so i'm going to stand it supporting on probably two sticks so there's going to be fire underneath of it and i'm going to leave it there for about 20 to 30 minutes so let's get this in there with a stick so i don't burn my hand and we'll just drop it on the wood and leave it sit basically Toss that in there, let it do its thing. All right, so this has been in there for about 40 seconds and already if you guys look at the handles and the bale very closely, you will notice that those have already turned white and purple and blue, the colors of hot titanium. And the rest of the pot has black soot on it. We're going to stand it up after about 10 minutes and all the high heat of the fire will burn off all of the food and all of that carbon deposit, leaving us with a beautiful colored titanium pot that is totally clean. Okay, so we're at about the 10 minute mark right now. I've gone ahead and stood the pot upright. So the closest view to the camera is still that titanium color. I believe you could probably still see the name brand on it. The side closest to me is totally blue and purple. It's got some really great coloring going on in there. 
So now that I've stood it upright, all the heat's gonna wrap around the pot and do its thing. This is how I like to do it, getting it standing upright. I can see inside the food is totally gone. It is all a little pile of black ash and carbon. That'll dump out and clean out just with a wipe of the hand. So I'm gonna let this go for another 10 to 15 minutes. When it is done, I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna let it cool down and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like directly out of the fire. And then I'm gonna dip it in the lake water. No scrubbing, just a quick dip just to get that ash out of there. And then I'm gonna show it to you what it looks like after that. And then you guys can judge it for yourself. Is this a viable method for you or not? And there will also be no damage done to the pot at all. So another 10, 15 minutes, let that do its thing. I'll show you guys the end result. So here's an up close look at the sides of the outside. I just want to show the bale still works totally fine. The handles, no problem, they work. We've got some beautiful coloring blues. We've got the logo right there, still laser etched in there. That'll never disappear because it is laser etched. The bottom of the pot is totally clean. The inside is totally clean. However, we do need to wash that ash out of there just with a little bit of fresh lake water because it is in the bottom. But the pot is totally clean of all food. All right, guys, so here we are with the pot totally cleaned out. If you guys can make out the inside, I'm trying to position this in the sunlight so you guys can see right down inside of the pot. Totally clean, no food, no ash, nothing. What you're seeing is the different colorations of the titanium. That is not food, that is not burned on creosote or ash, nothing. Totally clean. The outside is beautifully colored, very, very nice look to it. And everything functions, the bale, the handles, they go in, out, exactly as they used to. No deformation to it at all. Very nice, very clean and simple. Now, depending on what you cook with your cookware, so for example, I have a titanium spoon that I literally throw in the fire the exact same way. I've had lemon juice and tomato juice on this, which creates a very unique kind of staining pattern to the titanium. It's totally clean, but it will create little stains on it and it looks dirty, but it's just the acids that are on the surface of the titanium. So that's what you're seeing down in there is the different acids in the food. However, it is back to raw titanium. So if I throw this back into a heat source, all of that acids and discoloration will burn off and it'll look just like the bottom of the pot would. So here's one last look at the pot. I've got a position in the shade, so hopefully we can see a little bit more down inside of it. So that is the different colorations of the titanium. That is totally clean, no ash, no food. The outside's nice and clean, the bottom's clean. Here's a close look at the spoon that I was talking about with the acid etching from tomato and some lemon juice. This has been in the fire many times as well, and it is totally clean. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful to some of you guys out there wondering how to clean your titanium cookware. This spoon has been in the fire, and I mean blazing hot fire, for probably over a year. We're talking like 100 plus campfires. Totally fine. This was the very first time this pot has gone in the fire, and that's the reason why I wanted to show you with a brand new clean pot that everything works totally fine. Those acids in the bottom will burn out on the next firing, just like it does on the rest of my camp stuff. So if you guys are wondering how to clean your camp cookware, try this method. Uh, don't listen to people that do all these mathematical equations on their Etch-a-Sketch, doing all this research online, and oh, don't do that, you're going to ruin it. Just keep in mind that Albert Einstein never had Google to research anything that he was researching. He had his imagination and his hands, and he put those to work. And that's exactly what I've done here. So try it instead of listening to everybody. Don't even listen to me if you don't think that it's going to be true. Just try it. Grab a pot off Amazon, 10 bucks, titanium. Make sure it's titanium. Throw it in the fire and take it out after half hour. And you'll see it will be clean and it will look pretty awesome with all the blues and purples. So that's all I've got for you guys. I'm going back to camping now. If you guys have any questions, drop it down in the comment section. Peace out and I'll see you in the next video.